me, 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 me. Hey, y'all. Hey, it's your girl. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? What's up, divas? What's up, divos? What's up, everybody? YouTube fam, you already know what time it is. It is Real Talk Wednesday. What's up, you guys? What's up, everybody? I hope everybody's having like a really great day when they're watching this. A great evening, great afternoon, just a great day in general. So first of all, if I sound a little funny right now, that's because I got my new teeth in, girl, okay? I just went today, because today is Monday. I just went today, this morning, to get my new partials in. And girl, when I thought I was going to have three three teeth, because I had three, te three teeth missing on this side, they gave me five teeth, girl. I got five teeth. I got two for on this side and three for here. So it does take some time to get used to. Trust me, when I first put these in, it was way worse. Like, you really couldn't understand me at all. Um, it was hard for me to say the letter T. Um, and it was kind of very uncomfortable. So I'm going to show you what they look like. You know, look at your girl. Ow, okay. Got some new teeth. I am smiling. Now, first of all, let me just put this out here because I know a lot of people are going to probably try to say some smart shit. Let me just put this out there. I know a lot of people have a lot to say. I've already went through like bad issues with my teeth for the longest. Um, if you guys have been following me forever, then you will know and you've known that I've had a gap for my first my first my front teeth were actually gapped due to them shifting and um so I've had a lot of issues with my teeth. I've had a lot of people talk shit about my teeth um, with the gaps and, you know, shit like that until I got them fixed. So I'm pretty sure somebody is going to have something to say when I show you what my teeth look like now without these. Um, I will say this for those who are looking to get a partial or are interested in getting a partial. There is the metal ones and then there's the flexi ones that I have. It does take a lot of getting used to. So the dentist did already tell me to wear them as much as I can so that way if I need any type of adjustments then I could come back in and they will adjust it for me but they don't like to adjust it when you first put them in because that's your first initial use to them and of course they're going to be uncomfortable when I tell you girl it was so hard for me to talk Tati was with me she's the one that helped me pay for my teeth as well Tati was so kind as to help me pay for my teeth she offered to help me I love Tati so much I love all my kids so much but Tati is just like really helpful she's an amazing daughter all of my kids are amazing but she's the one that's always there for me all the time. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm so grateful for everything, for her help, and just for her unconditional love. So Tati was with me, and she was recording, but she had to stop because she could see when the dentist was trying to help me put them in that I was very uncomfortable. I was in a lot of pain. Um, it is very hard to put them in and remove them when you first get them, but over time they will become much more flexible. They will, they will flex or they will, you know, mold to your bite basically once you have them in. Um, and yeah, you will feel a little bit of pinching when you first put them in. But I realized that they were more uncomfortable and it was harder for me to talk because they weren't pushed up all the way. When the dentist put them in for me, it was fine. It was very hard for me to talk. But as I started to go about my day today, like, you know, when we left and I started to try to chew gum, I ended up pushing them up further, which made it a lot easier for me to talk. You can eat with these. You just cannot sleep with them. I wouldn't want to sleep with them anyway. But you can definitely eat with them. I'm not really sure how I'm going to work around eating with them. I just still really need to get used to them. But I'm going to show you. You have to like, okay, so this is them. And this is it right here in the front where you can't see it. Um, oh. So the first thing that I was scared of when I put these in, I just was scared that they was going to make my other teeth move or too much pressure on my um, crowns would make them get loose. This is what I was feeling at first. You know, I, I felt that way at first, but, and I actually have a new cup. Y'all already see me, um, y'all always see me with my pink cup. When I have a blue one, and I have a new cup because, okay, so my kids in here, my kids, they say I put my lid on too tight. I really don't. My kids be like, don't nobody want to steal your ice or your water while you put it on so tight. So whenever Tati or anybody would give me water, they would hold the handle and turn it because they figured it was on tight. It wasn't tight to me. She made the hands weak over time. So Tati bought me a new one. Okay. Same cup, just a different color. Eight dollars, girl. This 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 40 ounces. Y'all stick to them. I'm Stanley. So so this is what it looks like. Um, this is for my back teeth. 
on the side and these are the three on the front so that's what I've been missing these in the back all this time y'all just didn't know I mean, it wasn't your business to know. So I'm pretty sure somebody's going to screenshot it or whatever. Somebody who don't like me and be like, ah. But let me just put this out there to you guys. I'm not the only one in this world who has a missing tooth. And I know it's hard for people at times to afford a dentist because, trust me, I was there. I've been there. And sometimes I can still be there, okay? My insurance doesn't really cover all of these things like partials or crowns or things like that so i do come out of pocket for that but a lot of people can't afford to come out of pocket so there are a lot of people that are around in this world that have no teeth so for those of you guys who feel like it's deemed necessary to talk shit about people that have missing teeth you should count your blessings and watch what you say because maybe one day you'll be there as well i'm happy that and i'm, I'm thankful to god that i'm able to afford the work that i've gotten done on my mouth Yes, I want to continue. The dentist is very pricey. And yes, I want to continue. But just keep in mind that the dentist, a lot of people cannot afford. OK, and so when you see people walk around and they have missing teeth in the back or sides or whatever, please don't poke fun at them because it's just a part of life. Everybody go through shit. I was very self-conscious about losing my front tooth a few weeks back. I, when I tell you I was self-conscious about it, I was I was depressed about it. I was very hurt about it. I cried for the whole weekend. I felt like I'm just going to wear a mask on my face because I didn't know what to do. I knew that I couldn't get another crown because it took my tooth. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like, wow, what am I going to do? I can't, I'm, I'm never going to be able to do like any more um, talking videos on YouTube because I don't want anybody to say anything about my missing tooth, you know? And then that's when I started looking on Amazon for my extra tooth, my little insert, you know what I'm saying? Because I refuse to go outside looking like a hot ass mess. I mean, I don't really care about certain things, but, um, I don't, I don't never go outside looking like a hot mess, but you know what I'm saying? I just try to look decent at all times, but my teeth was like my main thing of being self-conscious. I don't really care about like, I do care about losing my hair. Okay. So the teeth is the teeth in the hair. That's me. I don't really care too much. I mean, I do care, but I do care. I, I can't say I don't really care, but I felt very uncomfortable going outside with my tooth missing in the front. Um, when I would go to the grocery store without the tooth, because sometimes I would forget to put it in, I just wouldn't speak to the people that worked at Fry's. Or when I would speak to them, I would mainly keep my head down and try to not talk as much. So that way you couldn't see where the tooth was missing. Um, so I know a lot of people, there are a lot of people out there that feel the same way that I do and just realize you're not alone and your teeth don't make or break you as a person and in due time you can get your your smile fixed there's so many different programs out there but in due time now these are actually much cheaper than the metal partials um not much but um I don't think I would have gotten five teeth if I would have got the um the metal ones, I didn't even know I was going to get five teeth, to be honest. I thought I was just getting the teeth on this side, but they gave me five for the price. I can't remember. I think I paid like nine forty five for this. Um, so it's very flexible. And they say this is this one is much better than the metal ones because it's more flexible. OK, so this is what it looks like. You guys, if you're interested or you need a partial, this is what it looks like now. It does take some getting used to. You will be able to tell the way I'm talking. But I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day. Because you have to pop them in yourself. And it's kind of painful when you first pop them in. So you can hear the way I sound like I have a lisp right now. And at least they don't look like those fucking teeth that I popped in the last time. Those denture things. At least they don't look like that. Okay, so... I'm really happy about them. I know it does take some getting used to, so I'm going to give it time. I'm going to give it time. Um, the one thing, though, I'm, I'm not wearing these on the weekend. If I ain't going nowhere, I'm not wearing these, okay? I'm just not. You're going to have to look. I'm just not, okay? I'm just not going to be wearing these on the weekend when I'm at home all day. God forbid I forget to take them, I, um, put them on when I go somewhere because I have been getting like that lately with the little tooth that I made. 
you know, I have to, I'll forget to put it, pop it in. That one is super easy. Don't fuck with me because I'll just wear that one all the time. But anyway, and cause that one is really comfortable. Um, you know, you get used to that one, the little Amazon tooth kit I got. It, that one was definitely comfortable. I did like the way it felt. It didn't wiggle. It didn't move. You just can't eat with them. That's fine. I don't know if I really want to eat with these only because where you see the roof of my mouth at, there's a space between my partial and my roof of my mouth, the top of my mouth. So food can get stuck in between, in between it up here. So I don't really know if I want to eat with them. But anyway, other than that, I thought I would share that with you guys. You know, I got my new teeth in. I got five teeth today. Girl, I'm on the road. Some of y'all probably like, bitch, how did you eat? I have no teeth in the back on this side at all. This is them, girl. This is this is the new teeth. Okay. Daddy with new teeth. Okay. So I'm really excited. I'm happy about that. But other than that, I hope you all had like a great day. My weekend has been great. It was great. I hung out with my grandkids like I always do. You know, I love their company. So I just be chilling with them. And so I did that. Um, made breakfast, chilled out, relaxed. I'm a very calm person. I like to chill and relax. Let me tell y'all something though real quick. Let me tell y'all something real quick. Now, you know what people give you a compliment? It's supposed to be a compliment. It's not supposed to make you feel any type of way. It's definitely not supposed to bring your vibe down to a lower standard. When you give somebody a compliment, you give them a compliment and that's all there is to it. You don't add no extra additives, no preservatives to that compliment. You just compliment them and you keep it pushing. Okay. That's all you got to fucking do. So mind you, okay. I, I, I love a good compliment. Thank you. And I always say, thank you. I appreciate anything that someone may notice different on me. I appreciate it. Like, why is one of my eyelashes this one is anyway i don't even care anymore um so i go to the grocery store out of seven days out of the week it used to be like every day because i would go and i would go early in the morning and i would go look for the items that was reduced and i did do a video about my grocery shopping sometimes i get items that are reduced i put them in my deep freezer like the meats and stuff the meats could be they could expire within like five to seven days and they'll put them down for reduced i'll put them in my deep freezer you know so that's how i be shopping sometimes sometimes so anyway i got to know the people that work at the grocery stores at kroger's because i'm there all the time you know i know a lot of people and plus i always speak to people because that's me when i go into establishment i make sure it's my business to speak to a person so one of the cashiers, okay, she's like probably maybe my age, maybe a little bit older than me by a couple of years, a few years, okay? Her name is Cynthia. She's light-skinned. You would probably think she was African-American, but I'm thinking that she's probably mixed with with probably Hispanic and Black, okay? That's in my opinion. I could be wrong, but it just appears to that way. I always speak to her. I speak to all of them. They know me by name. I know them by name. So one day... A while ago, Cynthia had asked me what I did for a living because I'm always in the grocery store. She said, what do you do for a living? So I showed her my website and I showed her my YouTube channel. And she said, girl, why you don't wear makeup? You look so pretty. You should always do that to your face and hair. I said to her, the calm me, the calm me said to her, because I don't feel like doing my makeup and hair every day like that. I'm before I'm not going anywhere. She was like, but you look so pretty. And I just left it at that. I said, thank you. And I left it at that. When I left the store, I was like, the fuck she mean I look so pretty. But you're trying to say I don't look pretty without makeup and shit. The fuck you trying to say? I just stayed calm and remained calm, right? So today, after we leave the dentist, me and Tati go to, to the grocery store right there, right? Now, mind you, I didn't put the wig on to do real talk. I put the wig on because my hair is in cornrows and I know I had an appointment today. So I figured I was looking decent. I mean, I always look decent. Regardless if my hair is pulled back in a ponytail, a bun, or whatever, I always look decent. I don't ever go outside looking raggedy like I just rolled up from underneath the bed. Never, okay? So when we get to the grocery store, everything I have on, I have on everything. The shirt, okay, the same the same shirt. It, the shirt says, proud mother of some dumbass kids, of a few dumbass kids. Tati bought me the shirt. You know, I have on the shirt, okay? And I'm always looking decent and clean. My, my lashes are done. My hair is combed. My clothes are clean. I always look decent. I may not just be de diva up or glamify, but I'm, I look decent. So we, we check it out. Now, Cynthia is a cashier. So we had the self-checkout. The self-checkout is actually by her cash register. So she, I didn't know she was on that register because the way she peeped over and was looking over at the top of my self-checkout thing, you know, she was like, look at you. You got your hair all out and your hair down. She was like, you look so pretty. And I was like, thank you. And she was like, why don't you wear your hair out like that all the time? You should wear it out more. You look really nice with your hair out. You look a lot nicer with your hair down. You should wear your hair out more. Why don't you wear it out like that? I said, because it's not mine. 
And she was like, oh, oh, but it still looks nice on you. Then why are you all dressed up? I was like, because I went to the dentist today to get some new teeth. And she was like, well, I like your hair like that. You should wear it out more often. So then when she walked away, me and Tati looked at each other. Tati don't really care for her. And Tati looked at me and I looked at Tati and Tati's real quick. She's short. Sometimes she's real short with the temper when it comes to me or her kids. Like she don't really like nobody disrespecting me or her kids. And so we looked at each other. She's like, the fuck she mean? And I was like, I don't know what the fuck did she mean by that? And so Tati got real mad. She was like, I know she's not talking about somebody's hair with her thin ass hair. That shit look like it's on this last leg talking about somebody's hair. Shoot, all her hair always look bone straight. Look like it ain't got no volume to it. It's always straight and limp. She ain't even got no hair to be talking about nobody. Girl. That's why I said, when you compliment somebody, just give them a compliment and leave it at that. You don't got to add no extra shit to it. Because I really felt like telling her to shut the fuck up already, okay, about my wig or whatever, or how I look. Because, bitch, I look cute regardless, wig or not. Shut the fuck up. When you compliment people, somebody... Everybody, anybody. When you compliment someone, just compliment them. You ain't got to add no extra additives and preservatives to that shit. Just fucking compliment them and just leave it the fuck at that. Okay? That's what you gotta do. Just leave it at that. Period. Okay? Now, moving right along. Okay? We do have a sponsor for today's video. I already pre-recorded this video like a minute ago. This sponsored portion. Um, and it is from a website, Your Forever Noble Jewelry. Now, of course, they do have very nice, elegant jewelry. It all depends on your taste. They were so kind to send me some things, and I was so kind to share them in this video. So we're going to take a moment for that sponsor, and then we're going to just jump right into this real talk, okay? For today's sponsor video, I am featuring YFN Jewelry, which stands for Your Forever Noble Jewelry. YFN Jewelry is a international, high-end, affordable jewelry website, which does cater to customization along with bracelets, necklaces, rings, and earrings. I will definitely link their information down below for you guys. They were so kind to give me two pieces of jewelry that I was able to customize. So your items do come in these cute little gift bags. So if you're going to gift it to someone... They're already basically gifted in the bags for you. And they also do come in the box as well. And on this one, I do have a card, which is a Forever Noble card. And this is just an exclusive coupon. You can use the QR code right here to scan. Okay, now don't laugh. But the necklace is really nice. I got it customized. So it says Wuzzle, but girl, don't laugh, okay? Because it's like a choker. Now, if you have like a small petite neck, like you think, girl, then this might definitely work for you. Or you may have to put like an extender on it. Might, unless you want it to be a choker. So for me, I would definitely have to put an extension on it just so I could be able to wear it. But the quality, it's very fragile. So you definitely want to be careful when wearing it. it I like the idea of it, but it is very, very fragile. But I like the, also I do like the fact that it says my son's name. So I like that. But it's very, very small. Okay, so this is not for the dick mamas like myself. Okay. Now also they did send me the bracelet, which I really like. Um, it's very small and dainty. It does have uh, my daughter's, my three daughters' names on it. You know, their full names, except for Mumsy. Um, but it, these are just basically, um, this part right here is the name plates for each one very dainty and small so if you love something really tiny and small very demure then these are definite pieces i do like the pieces though i just wish that this would have fit a lot better for me as their names right there and then there is like a faux di diamond like a rhinestone right here very dainty very small yfn jewelry you are forever noble i will link everything down below for this website but yeah so let me know what y'all thoughts are we're gonna get right into this real talk if y'all have a real talk that y'all would like me to talk about go ahead and send me an email to muffin is my lovers 2012 at gmail.com make sure to put in the subject line real talk or you can also use my april's real talk at gmail.com as well please make sure to put in the subject line real talk if you want to change the name of the people that you're speaking about you can go ahead and let me know that you've done so if you don't care to change the name or you want me to do so just let me know in the email other than that girl let's get into this real talk okay mm -hmm. Thank you. 
also, you guys, I want to say a special thank you to my girl, Meech, who sent me this amazing gift box at my post office. When I tell you amazing, amazing. So I just, you know, I know a lot of people like to be, to remain private. So that's why I left it at Meech. Um, but I want to say thank you sincerely for my heart because the items that you sent to me was just amazing. I loved everything that you sent me and I've been using everything that you sent me. Um, I'm not going to show everybody because it was from you to me. And so it's private, but everything that she sent me was just beautiful. And I was so appreciative. Like when people send me anything, I'm appreciative because I just do these real talks because I enjoy doing them. And I love being able to sit here with you guys and talk to you without doing wigs or makeup. Like I can do my makeup while I talk to you guys. That's fun too. But for me, just being able to sit here and talk with you guys about any and everything is like the best part for me on YouTube. But I like these type of videos better. It makes me able to open up and let you guys know who I am as a person. And so when I do a real talk video, I don't expect anyone to send me gifts as a thank you, but I truly am grateful and appreciative. So I do appreciate anything that anyone sends me and just know that these real talks are from my heart and I enjoy doing them with you guys because I could just sit back and chill and just be April. Okay. Not saying I'm not just April when I'm doing my wig videos, but y'all understand my demeanor. Y'all know that um, sometimes I'm not so demure. Okay. Or mindful and in my real talks, but that's just me as a person. And I appreciate you guys for accepting me for who I am. You understand what I'm saying? Like sometimes I may put out too much information on myself or may give out too much TMI on myself. Like just now I showed you guys my teeth. Like, okay, a lot of people won't do that, but I'm a person and I'm a human being and I am who I am. You can either accept me for who I am or not at all. So I want to say thank you to Meech and please forgive me for my speech right now. But I want to say thank you to me for the beautiful gifts that she sent me. And I want to say thank you to everybody for giving me your time. Because you ain't got to be watching me right now. You can watch anybody else, but you're giving me your time. And so I'm very grateful for that. So on that note, we're going to read this. Real talk. Okay. Real talk. Found out my husband was on the down low. Hey, April, how are you? I pray all is well. Sis, when I tell you I'm having a time, I am having a horrible past few, few months and not sure where to go from here. My name is Gloria and I am 39 years old. I am a Hispanic woman married to a black man. You know the old saying, the darker the berry, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. So that is why I have stayed with my husband because I was hooked. April, we've been married since I was in my early 20s. I already had a son with someone else. Long story short, my husband had been going out of town a lot for work. His employer does fly him out to other hotels to check them out. He does hotel work and basically needs to make sure all of the chain hotels are up to standards in good condition, may need any upgrades, etc. So a lot of times he may need to leave for a couple of days. Nothing too lengthy at all. Well, it seems strange to me it was reoccurring way too many times within a month. Normally he goes maybe once a month, sometimes every other month. But for the past few months, it's been like twice a month or even three times a month. He needs to leave and go out of town. Well, one day I was putting things together in the bedroom, you know, changing out our linen and covers, just cleaning. My husband had went to get into the shower. His phone kept going off, ringing, then several text messages kept coming through, and then the phone would ring again. From the way it was going on, I thought it may have been an emergency, so I picked his phone up. And a text message popped up saying, hey, daddy, what you doing? So April, I'm like, huh, daddy? My husband doesn't have any kids. At least that's what I'm aware of. So at this point, I unlock the phone and I go to the message. April, what I saw, I cannot unsee. It was a couple of raunchy pics, a dick pic sent to him, a pic of a man giving my husband oral, and a pic of a man's backside. I was so confused, but was very angry at the same time. Long story short, me and my husband are separated now. He tries to say it was someone he grew up with. They met one night to hang out and things happened that he was not aware was going to happen. He's not with him anymore and wants to get back with me. He misses me and my son and our family life. And he was wrong and he's not gay. He just was confused. So he says, April, please, what would you do? I love my husband with all of my heart, but sister, 
I don't know about this. Like I ended up telling my family, meaning my mother, my sister, my brother, my father, they all know because why wouldn't they know? Especially since I came back home to my mother's house, to my parents' house with luggage and such. I am very conflicted right now. I have been so good not speaking to him for months and I want to just move on, but he's my husband. And I know you, April, gave your husband another chance and I want to honor my vows. Please help, Gloria. Okay, so Gloria basically done caught her husband cheating. He wasn't even cheating with a female. He was cheating with his longtime homie, okay? Somebody he done grew up with, okay? And not only did she catch him cheating, like it's one thing to catch somebody cheating, like you may see some messages or whatever, but I don't know, like, so Gloria saw the messages. She didn't say what the messages was, was saying, but we all do know that one said, hey, daddy, what you doing? So from that, she was confused. I mean, I, mean, I would be confused too, because you ain't got no kids. Who the fuck else calling you daddy? But it ain't even a woman calling you daddy. You got another man calling you daddy, your homeboy, your homeboy from school, from who you grew up with, from the block. Okay, girl, first of all, Gloria, I'm sorry that this had to happen to you. And I'm, I'm sorry that you had to find out this way. But here's the thing. It's really good for you to have found out, okay? Okay? Because I guarantee you, if you never found out, this motherfucker was probably going to still keep clapping them cheeks, okay? Somebody was getting their they, they, they cheeks clapped, either your husband or the other one or both of them. I don't fucking know. But either way, you found out and you found out when you did. Now, how long it's been going on, who knows? But it's one thing for him to say, oh, we grew up together. We went to hang out, okay? Do you know this man? Because you should know who he has grown up with, especially if you went to hang out with them, okay? So here's my thing. Was he even leaving out of town when he said he was? Or was he just, you know, going next door? And when I say next door, I don't mean like literally next door, but like somewhere else in the town where you work, where you live at, I said work at, where you live at. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't even matter where he was going. To just This is me for real. The whole fact is you lied, buddy. You cheated. And you lied. You just kept fucking lying. On top of that, on top of that, it's like I said, it's one thing to find out that your spouse is cheating on you is very hurtful but to come across pictures as proof that's got to be even worse and then to see the type of pictures that you've seen it's i can i can only imagine because i definitely would want to unsee that i definitely would want to unsee that so my thing is this now this is what your husband is saying to you about him being an old friend they grew up together he was unaware of that he misses you guys listen let me tell you something okay Please don't believe everything that is coming out of his mouth right now. Whatever he's texting you, calling you about, saying to you, please don't take that for a grain of salt. Honey, when I tell you please don't take that as a grain of salt, please don't. Because he can tell you that the sky is blue. The sky got white clouds. Don't mean it does, okay? What I'm saying is watch yourself. Because for one, now you said I took my husband back. First of all, we weren't married anymore when I took him back. I divorced him, okay? And I divorced him in 2015, and me and him got back together in 2017. So, yeah, we weren't married no more. I divorced him. Now, if my ex-husband was to do anything like that, then there's no way I would take him back, okay? But see, our, our things are different because you can't compare apples to oranges. You just can't, okay? I'm not saying that my ex-husband is the best person in the world, but he's, he's damn sure is not gay. He's not. He's definitely not that, okay? But we have two different circumstances here. And I'm not taking up for my ex-husband. I'm just telling you facts. We have two different circumstances here. Can't compare apples to oranges at all because they're just not the same. Now, I took my ex-husband back because, you know, he had changed. He had stopped drinking and he had changed a lot. Now, had I seen some type of pictures like that in my ex-husband's phone, girl, there would be no way on God's green earth would I be taking him the fuck back. I understand that you say you want to honor your vows, but sweetheart, let's just be for real with each other right now. You want to honor your vows. That motherfucker wasn't honoring shit, okay? What was he honoring? Was he honoring his vows when he was lying to you? Was he honoring his vows when he was sleeping with somebody else? Was he um, honoring his vows when he was cheating? Was he honoring his vows when he was continuously lying to you, okay? And is he honoring his vows now? He only want to get back with you probably because he's lonely and he ain't got nobody else to put up 
with his bullshit. Because like he said, him and dude ain't together no more. But here's the thing. They still know each other, okay? They grew up together, which means that they're going to run into each other another time in life, okay? And what's going to happen then? Let me tell you something. I can't say don't take somebody back because they cheated, because I have been cheated on before as well. Not by We weren't married when, I, my, when my husband cheated on me, but we was together. And I ended up marrying him anyway. He never cheated on me again after that. But I mean, why would you? Why would you want to? Because I caught you and I tried to run you and the bitch over, okay? And y'all kept driving off. And so I had to jump over the curb in my truck and park right in front of you guys so y'all couldn't go nowhere else because they was motherfucking moving. That fucking fat bitch was driving that little hatchback trying to get the fuck away from me and my big ass truck. And you know what I did? I drove up on somebody's fucking lawn and ah, now where you fucking going? Yeah, he won't never fucking do that shit no more, okay? He learned his motherfucking lesson. He sure did, okay? But anyway, you can't compare apples to oranges, all right? Now, here's the thing. Your husband went out there and slept with a total man. It don't even matter if it was a woman. You don't know what the fuck he got going on. When I say you don't know what the fuck he got going on, I mean this. You don't know if he just strapped it up and put on a condom, okay? You don't know what the fuck he got going on. He could have anything from that dude. You don't know that guy that he slept with. You don't know where that guy's been at that he slept with. And here's another thing. Your husband doesn't even really know where that guy has been and who he slept with. Because people could tell you anything to you green and blue in the face. Doesn't mean what they're telling you is authentic. Okay. Doesn't mean what they telling you is true. All right. So like I said, your husband doesn't know where that guy's been at. So did your husband use a condom when he was fucking dude or when dude was fucking him? It doesn't even matter. You don't know what he got going the fuck on. And why take your chances on anything like that? It's one thing to cheat on me. But if you cheat on me with the same sex that you are, I'm not fucking with you ever again. Okay. It's bad enough that you already cheated. But if I find out that you cheated on me with another man, there's no taking you back. There's no nothing. I don't even really want to speak to you no more. Just don't come around me with that bullshit. Now, you and your husband, you want to you wanna honor your vows. That's, that's a beautiful thing. But we want to honor our vows when we take them and when things are good. When things get really bad like this, you don't have to keep honoring them shits. I know it's, you know, for better or for worse, okay? Not cheating. I don't, I don't recall those vows saying anything about cheating for better or for worse. And I guess that would be the worst part, but you know what? I'm going to have to draw the line on the worst. There's got to be a limit to what the worst is for better or for worse. You know what I'm saying? Like and when you're sickness and health, okay, we know the sickness and health is not the worst. So that's an, its own category, you know, in sickness and health for better or worse. Okay, so the sickness, I can, I can deal with that. I can, if you get sick, I'm going to fucking deal with that. I'm going to take care of you. For better or worse, what's the worst? What What is really the worst? What do they mean by the worst? Do they mean by the worst as your husband fucking another husband? Is that what they mean by the worst? Because if so, they may go on good for now, this generation, that this world, how this world is going like how people are getting down these days that works might be for that but for my worst I, I can't put I can't no way so what would I do I wouldn't even fucking deal with him I wouldn't even deal with him because you don't know what he's got going on you don't know he could have brought you something bad you don't know and it, you, you just don't know and why put yourself in that category like you said you've been happy you haven't spoken to him for months you was moving on and you could continue to move the fuck on just because a man come back in your life and tell you oh i want to be with you i love you i changed etc cetera, etc cetera, that don't mean you gotta accept them and i wish i would have took my own word of advice back in 2017 and not even gave my ex-husband another chance because yeah just because they say they changed don't mean they changed you can't take their word for a grain of salt you can't take anybody's word for a grain of salt somebody like I said, people can tell you to you blue in the face. Oh, it's blue outside. It's green. The clouds is as beautiful as a rainbow. You could, please, I don't take nobody's word as a grain of salt, okay? And I'm damn sure not taking no man's word like that, especially if you cheated on me and lied to me. You know, I don't like liars. I don't think anybody likes liars. And it's one thing to be a liar, but a cheater is one thing too. Those are in his total different realms. Like you a liar and a cheater, I'm good. And then you a liar and a cheater and you sleeping with the same sex. I'm definitely good, okay? A girl's good over here. Gloria, I know what this old saying is, the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Honey, that's great and all, okay? But we ain't got to keep using that shit no more because I damn sure ain't, all right? I'm going for the ones that are decent. Decent. I don't care what skin color you are, just decent. 
Okay, your husband is not decent. What he did to you was not decent. What he did to your son is not decent. And I can't not say that he's not teaching him to be a man, but he's not teaching him to be a man. It doesn't matter if you want to be gay or not, but you have to be truthful. And if you want to be a man, you got to be honest and be truthful. And he wasn't showing him honesty. He wasn't showing him truthfulness. So that's why I say he wasn't teaching him to be no man because he was lying to you, running around behind your back. God forbid anybody would have saw them two together and it came back and told you, you probably wouldn't even believe that shit. Because I wouldn't have, I, I would never have believed anything like that if somebody was to tell me that. I'd be like, you're right. The fuck are you talking about? There, I, there would be no way. I'd be like, this nigga dicked me down. How is he dicking some other dude down? Like, I wouldn't even believe that, okay? I know you love him with all your heart. That's great. I love my ex-husband, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna give him another chance, because I'm not. I'm not. I've learned my mistakes, and I'm just not, okay? I don't need to explain why, but I'm just not gonna give him another chance. He gave me two beautiful children. We did have really great times together, but just because of the great times and the children doesn't mean I gotta take you back. Uh Uh-uh. Doesn't mean I gotta take you back. Look at my little bow list. It ain't that cute. And it's refillable. A little bold lip balm. This is so cute. Ain't it cute though? Got a little bling and stuff on. It's so cute. Um, you know, love is a is a complicated thing in my eyes. You know, sometimes our heart be telling us to love somebody, and the heart never really understands the truthfulness. Like, you know, the brain is what is what's really, really the, the most important. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, yeah, you go off your heart because you have emotions and feelings and shit, but the brain is what you really need to go through in life. Because if you go through life just with your heart, you're going to fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go through a lot of bullshit. But your mind, your brain is what teaches you what to do and not to do. And I think at this point, Gloria, you need to use your brain and not your heart. Yeah, you love your husband and you definitely will always love him. But you know what? Sometimes in life, we are given people that are just a leaf, a leaf on our tree branch, a leaf. Cause you know, seasons, they're seasons, okay? And sometimes we're giving people in life leaves, leaves. Y'all can understand me, right? Leaves. So that way they're just there temporary to help us get through life, to help us just pass through life. You know, these leaves fall off the branches. You know what I'm saying? They're not permanent. So they're just, you know what I'm saying? They're, you know, temporarily in our lives. Okay. And sometimes we need that temporary person just to help us get through life. You know, it may elevate us. They may elevate us. They may help us see through things that will make our lives better. There's just a just a leaf, a branch. But then we have those who are the roots of the tree. And the roots are there. They're planted in. Those are what you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? So as for your husband, even mine, he was my leaf. He was going to fall off eventually. There was no time frame when he was going to fall off. I didn't know the frame of time. We was down together for over 20 years. That's a long ass leaf holding on to that branch. But he was still there temporarily. 20 years is a long time, but it was temporary. And he's taught me a lot of things in my life that I'm very grateful for. You know what I'm saying? He's taught me a lot about men, meaning how they operate and how to maneuver around men. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a man. He's a leaf in my life. He taught me a lot of things that I needed to know. And I taught him a lot of things, okay, that he needed to know. Just like your husband. He taught you some things. And now it's time for you to elevate and move on. You can always have a heart for somebody. But please be mindful about who you choose. Because sometimes the people that you choose in your life are not the ones that you really want, even if they temporarily. Those are the ones that the devil done sent. And you don't even want the motherfuckers in your life. And right now, I feel like for you, Gloria, leave it the way it is. Separate and go on and move forward with your life. Now, I'm not going to tell you to get divorced because that's on you. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm not your counselor or anything like that. But what I am telling you is, you happy now. You didn't, you're not saying you happy, but you say you were doing fine, basically, for these past few months. You haven't spoken to him and you want to leave it that way. Leave it that way then. And let him know, I don't have any interest. Sometimes you don't even have to speak to the person. You may have to just block them. Sometimes, you know the saying, block your blessings, don't block your blessings. Sometimes you got to block them because if you don't, your blessings ain't going to come through. And if you get back with this man, he may be blocking your blessings. Okay. So block him out your life and keep it pushing. There's, you know, I understand that people cheat on people. I understand that. And that's a hard, that's a hard pill to swallow because I would never want anybody to cheat on me. And I would never want to cheat on nobody. I didn't never cheated on my husband. I've never cheated on anybody that I was in a relationship with. Never. Okay. Um, oh no, I'm lying. I'm lying. Well, I was 16 at the time. So I don't know if that really counts. Okay. But, um, yeah, 
Once I became an adult, I never cheated on anybody that I got into a serious relationship with. So I don't really know if you want to call that. But I mean, I did cheat on them. So what the fuck? OK. All right. His breath smelled really bad. I told you my ex-boyfriend, Freddie, he had he was such a nice guy, but his breath smelled really, really bad. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I just feel like, you know what? If that were me, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you can't compare apples to oranges, but if you was to compare them, I still, I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't. That's me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't really care what your sexual preference is. That's not my business. But when you are married to a person, you don't go out and cheat on them. And you damn sure don't cheat on them with the same sex. You just don't cheat on them in general. Like, I don't feel like cheating on somebody is a thing to do. If you want to be free of the person, then be free of the person. Don't just keep them straggling. Just be free of the person. If your ex-husband, or, excuse me, ex-husband, I got y'all divorced already. If, y'all, if your husband wants to be in his free moment and he wants to be with other men, then let him be that because he don't really know what he wants now, to be honest, either. he He's trying to choose you and your son because him and old dude is not together no more. So now he He's lonely. So he wants somebody to fulfill that void of loneliness. And don't allow it to be you, girl. Glory, don't allow it to be you. What the fuck? Okay? I guarantee you that he's gay. I guarantee you that. If he's not, he's bisexual. And if you kind and fine with that type of lifestyle, then that's on you. But me personally, I wouldn't fuck with it. Okay? Because there's too much going on out here in this world. There, are, For one, there's too many men out here in this world, okay? So we don't have to just settle for one as bisexual or gay or hiding his sexuality. For two, there's too much shit going on in this world, all kind of diseases and shit. And I don't, I'm sorry, but I'm not sure about you, but I know for me, I'm not trying to end my life or my health, risk my health for no fucking man. I'm, I'm just really not going to do that. I have a lot to live for. I have a whole family here. I'm not going to risk my life or my health for any man or any relationship. That's just not what I'm going to do. And I really feel like you, Gloria, as a person, you really shouldn't either. Like, it's one thing to cheat but like i said when you see pictures like that you cannot unsee it and i feel like for you seeing that picture is enough confirmation that you should just move along with your life can you imagine seeing your husband in a picture and he's getting his you know what sucked i wouldn't give a damn if it was another woman there's no way like oh word you let somebody else put their mouth on that shit all right you better hope that shit don't ever come near my mouth again because you won't have that shit. I'll do one of those John the Bobbit shits, okay? I will, yeah. You'll be walking around dickless, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll be biting that shit over these new teeth. Hello. But I really wouldn't even want to put that shit in my mouth. Like, I don't, I don't, like, I'm not trying to sound gross or anything, but like, after knowing what he's already done did with the man and i'm pretty sure you didn't ask for details and maybe you did i don't know because you didn't put the details in the let email but i don't want to know the details okay but like it don't even matter he could be like oh no i was a top i was never a bottom how i know that you've been lying all this time so i don't really know that and so like your dick been in somebody else i don't i don't want it no more i just don't want it no more and it's i just don't want it no more I, i just don't want it no more no i don't want it no more that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Okay. As a person, my suggestion to you would be to keep moving on with your life. You done already told your family, which means that you're done. You said you're fine. You haven't spoken to him in months. That means you're done. Don't allow this man to come back into your life and fuck up your shit. Don't allow this man to come back in your life and fuck up your happiness. Don't allow this man to fuck up your life and bring you nothing but turmoil and stress. And then the entire time you back with him, you're going to be doing nothing but thinking when he does go to work, what is he doing? Why would you want to put yourself in that type of predicament? Why would you want to put yourself in in that type of situation? Why would you want to put yourself through any of that? Okay. I'm sorry, but if you cheat on me and then you, we get back together, I'm not about to sit here and keep wondering like, oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing 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 like I, i'm not gonna do that why why do that to myself i'm good like girl good look bye tell dude to go ahead somewhere there are a lot of dating apps that he could check out and find his real person okay but for you gloria i don't think you're his person you know what i'm saying and that's okay because like i said he's a leaf and he was only temporary okay Y'all tell Gloria what y'all would do, okay? I'm pretty sure some of y'all that's been watching this video today have been cheated on. And so, in your opinion, what would you do, okay? Moving right along. All right, so this one is called Real Talk. Hey, cousin, all names have been changed. Thank you, girl. Hi, April, my name is Brittany, and I grew up really close to my cousins. I'm talking, I treated them like siblings. I have this one cousin named Benny that does nothing but lie april we have vhs tapes of him just telling lies as a child 
for no reason in the 90s. It's as if it's a sickness or something. He never stops lying. My entire family don't mess with him at all because of his lies. Recently, he brought a woman around me and expected me to keep up his lie. He said, hey, cousin, this is my girlfriend. I pulled Benny aside and said, so where's your fiance? The one who has your four children that you live with. I don't condone no type of disrespect and you moving real foul. Playing with people's emotions, right is right and wrong is wrong. And this is messed up. He started getting loud. So the girl that he brought, she heard everything. She started yelling, Benny, you got kids? You told me you wanted a family with me and you've been single for years. He cussed me out and said, I messed up his motion and I need to mind my business. I said, don't bring your business around me. I'm not about to sit and lie for you to nobody. You wild, nasty, and way too old for these games. Jay is a good woman. I don't want no parts of the foolishness you got going on. This man, my cousin, went home that same night and told his fiance Jay, that I tried to put him on with one of my friends and he had to put me in my place because he could never cheat on her. His fiance Jay called me and I said, girl, what? That's not what happened at all. He was screaming in the background, cousin, I don't want your friends and you know it. Eventually she found out everything. Jay, eventually Jay found out everything. She has now called off the wedding and moved out. And she is saying it's, and he is saying it's my fault. April, I'm a very honest person, but for some reason I can't help but feel bad because he is losing his family over this. He is saying I should have stuck to the cousin co and had his back. I don't know, April, what would you have done? Would you have lied for your cousin or slash brother? What's her name? Brittany. Okay, so basically Brittany has cousins that more or less she considers them to be siblings because they're really close. So her one cousin named Benny, you know, she saw him one day. He said he introduced his cousin, Brittany, to his new girlfriend. Brittany pulled his ass aside and said, basically, why are you doing this shit? You got a, a fiance and four kids at home. She now with this nonsense. They started arguing, yelling back and forth. So the girl Benny brought heard everything and she walked out. Benny's mistake was this. Benny went and took his ass home and told his fiance how Brittany was trying to hook him up with one of her friends and he ain't trying to cheat on her. Then the fiance called Brittany and said, is this true, basically? And Brittany was like, uh, no. OK, so first of all, your cousin, Benny, Brittany, he was dead ass wrong for that shit. He was dead fucking wrong for that shit. First of all, he got caught by you. He didn't get caught. He brought that shit around you. OK, and now he's telling you to mind your fucking business. Yeah, you was minding your business until he brought homegirl around you and made that your business. So how how would you expect me to mind my business if you're not bringing your business around me? But where Benny messed up is he went and took his ass home and just made up a huge fucking story. Like she said, Benny lies a lot. Now, you know what's so funny? And I hate to say this. Oh, my God. I fucking hate to say this. <sighs> Because I don't really like putting nobody on blast at all. But I mean, what are you going to say if you watch the video? What are you going to say to me? Why would you point out my lies? Like, what do you want to say? But my cousin, my cousin that I always talk to you guys about, the one that I grew up with, she's like that too. She makes up a lot of lies and stories like straight up. She's always done this. Like, I don't know about always as a kid. I don't recall her doing this. But when we got older, like older, like as an adult, is when she started telling like a lot of different stories. Like she had a story time all the time. When I tell you she so told so many lies and like the lies that she told, like her friends would come back to me because she's a few years older than me, but I was cool with her friends too. And they would be like, yeah, your cousin, she said she lost a baby. And I would be like, my cousin can never have children. What are you talking about? She had a surgery when she was like a teenager and she can never have kids ever in life. So what are you talking about? She's pregnant with twins. Like I would get stories like this, all kind of different stories stories all kind of different stories and um she even lied to one of my boyfriends at a time and wrote him this letter and sent it to him because he was in jail you know what i'm saying and um i was trying to get with him and he sent me the letter back she tried to lie and tell me that she didn't but i got the letter but anyway she's a big time storyteller too and a lot of my family like my other cousins they all know that she'd be lying and so they be always saying shit to me about it because i have called her out on it one time okay we was on a three-way call like some years and years ago. It was like over 20 years ago. But she had 
I never forget she had she didn't know I was on the phone okay so my other cousin Nikia called me first on the three way then she called my cousin and um they was talking and she was like you know basically why was you talking about April did she didn't know my cousin didn't know that I was on the phone listening because my other cousin called her and they were talking but she was trying to get the scoop from my cousin that I grew up with about why she was talking about me because she was talking shit about me and she was trying to say she I said this and I said that and I said this and I said that and so I got on I stopped I unmuted it and was like basically I was like what the fuck are you talking about I said this and that stop fucking lying because you you know you're lying you know you can't handle kids stop fucking lying all the time so when I when I put her on blast she hung the phone up okay so she actually hung the phone up so I, I do know about lying ass cousins like I don't, why do you lie to make up lies? Like, it's one thing to lie to keep yourself out of some trouble, but just don't make up stories just to make yourself or your life seem like it's all that. Like she do shit like that. Okay. And that's just what she do. Like a lot of people don't call her out on it, but I do because what are you going to do? Beat me up. You're going to get mad because I called you out on your lie. You can't get mad at me because you're the one that was lying. Listen, let me tell you something, Brittany. You need to call Benny out on his bullshit. Okay. For one, um, don't feel bad. She feels bad because he lost his family. Girl, he, you don't need to feel bad. Why would you feel bad about your cousin? Why would you feel bad about him losing his family because of what you did? No, he did this shit to himself. He brought that girl around you. Then he went home and told his fiance that you tried to hook him up with one of her, your friends. And then on top of that, when his fiance found out the whole truth, she called everything off and now his family's not there no more. That is nobody's problem but his own. So don't feel bad for that motherfucker. Don't feel bad at all. You didn't do anything wrong, but be honest. You didn't do anything wrong. He would have put you in some real beef with his fiance over some dumb shit that he tried to do when he could have just kept his mouth shut and just went home and didn't say anything. But instead of him just going home and, and just being quiet, he went home and, and made up a whole big ass fucking story and lie about you trying to hook him up with one of your friends when he could have just went home and just shut the fuck up like let's be for real he did to himself i wouldn't feel bad for him i wouldn't feel bad for him at all not at all not one fucking bit he did it to himself he lost his family because of himself you know what i'm saying now what he needs to do is go out there and be a real man and stand up to his and stand on his own two feet and be a real man stand on business and apologize to that lady and apologize and let her know that he was in the wrong don't blame that shit on you. Don't allow him to blame that shit on you. Brittany, if you allow Benny to blame you for any of that shit, girl, let me tell you something. Let's be on some real shit. Let's think about everything you just wrote to me. You was minding your fucking business, okay? You was minding your business, okay? And then Benny came around and brought some other female that wasn't Jay that you know, his fiance with four children with, and introduced you to this new chick as his girlfriend. Yeah, I was a little confused too. Like, excuse me, what? Your girlfriend? But you pulled him aside and spoke to him privately. It's not your problem that the girl heard. That was meant for her to hear, okay? It was meant for her to hear that so she could carry on her business in her way, okay? But here's the thing what Benny fucked up at. He could have just took what you said and just left it at that, but instead he took his dumb ass, his sorry ass home and then told his girl how you was trying to hook him up with somebody. He just tried to bring beef onto you and his fiance. And you feeling bad because he lost his family? Nah, bitch, don't feel bad about a motherfucking thing. Benny need the one to feel bad. Benny need to be the one to feel bad because he's the one that did the dirt. I wouldn't feel bad for him. I wouldn't feel bad for nobody. Feel happy, okay? Because Jay, she could have been messed up with this nigga for real, for real. And he had been going around telling a whole bunch of lies, fucking all kind of bitches, and probably could have brought her back something. So you saved her from catching God knows what. Don't feel bad about that shit. Tell that motherfucking grown ass man to stop telling lies and story times all the fucking time. And that's why nobody fucks with him because he lies all the time. That's what you can tell him. But don't feel bad. Don't feel, don't be in your feelings about some shit. Listen, let me tell you something. He brought that shit to you. Okay, you didn't bring that shit to you, him. He brought that shit to you. So why would you feel bad about that shit? I don't feel bad about nobody or nothing when I tell the truth about anything. I don't feel bad about telling the truth about nothing. If that shit hurts your feelings, then I don't know what to tell you. But this is how it really went down. And I don't put in no type of bullshit. Don't put me in no beef. I'm not trying to be part of none of that drama shit. That is not me. Don't put my name and shit. And this is the part where he fucked up at. He put your name and made a whole story time about you trying to hook him up with your friend. Now his girl's calling you and he in the background yelling i don't want your friends stop trying you know what i'm saying like really trying to play first of all who the fuck lies like that don't you have embarrassment for yourself of lying like that there's no way that i would want to lie like that yeah we all lie i've lied my life hell yeah as i would be lying if i told you i never lied right but see here's the thing i don't go around telling stories i just lie to keep myself out of some shit did I get caught doing some shit? Did I get caught grand larceny? Yeah, I, I ain't take that shit. I'm trying to keep myself out of jail. 
All right. Did I beat that girl? <clears throat> no, officer. I'm trying to keep myself out of jail, but I damn sure ain't going to make up no story just to make my life seem like it's better than yours or better than most. There's the thing about people. When you lie, you can't keep up with your lie because you forget. When you tell the truth, you remember that shit always. Okay. I don't, I don't need to go around telling stories about shit. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Yeah. My life may be lame because I don't like to go out. I don't go out. I don't got no boyfriend. I hardly have any friends. I don't go hang out. I sit in the house on the weekends. I hang out with my grandkids. I like to color coloring books and play around with making jewelry and shit. That's what I like to fucking do. I'm not about to sit out here and tell y'all a bunch of lame ass stories like oh i did this and did that for the weekend i'm not because this is me this is who i am i like to do crafts okay i like to be at home i like to spend time with my family this is me i'm not gonna go around making up stories just to seem like i tell and have a better life than the next person and that's what some people do and i don't understand why just be the lame old that you are, okay? Just just be that. But don't feel bad, Brittany. Don't feel bad for Benny. Don't feel bad. Feel happy because you might have saved his girlfriend a lot of heartache, okay? This nigga ready to go around fucking all kind of people with his dirty ass dick, introducing him as his girlfriend, telling the next bitch that he want a family with her and probably would have shacked up and got her pregnant and then would have had nothing to do with that baby. And then here it is, Jay over there sitting in the corner looking stupid. You would have been wrong if you would have never said nothing to him. If you would have went along with the story and the spiel of that being his girlfriend and not saying nothing to him, you would have been the bad guy too because you would have went along with that shit be a girl's girl and be happy about what you did don't feel bad and don't feel sorry because you let it be known that he got a whole family at home don't feel bad about that shit feel happy feel glad because you did what was right let me tell you something I don't give a fuck if you're my cousin or my sibling or my best friend or my brother or whatever if I know a woman and you cheating on that woman with and you trying to drag me in some shit oh I'm gonna tell I'm not lying for you I'm not hiding nothing for you I'm not being quiet if you drag me in some shit let it be known right now that if I get in some shit because of you, I'm telling the truth. I don't give a fuck if you want to call me a bird, snitch, or what the fuck ever, but you're not going to put me in some unneeded, unwanted beef, drama with nobody. Never. So don't feel bad. You did what was right. I'm sorry, but I don't think I would want to have beef with somebody on account of somebody else. Like, I'm not a scaredy cat. I, I ain't afraid to fight, but I'm let's just be for real. Why would I want to fight if I don't need to? Like, this ain't my beef, Benny. This is your beef with Jay, not mine. Leave it at that. Don't feel bad, girl. Look at this. Everybody want to cheat on everybody. You see what I'm saying? Everybody want to motherfucking cheat on everybody. This is why I'm single, okay? And it's not even because of that. I just like my peace and quiet. And what I tell you the last time, you ain't got to be single to have peace. You just got to find the right one. You have peace with them. And it seems like neither one of these females, Jay or Gloria, have peace because they with men that ain't even worthy of their peace. And he got the nerve to have four kids with her and then gonna cheat on her. And then bring, you don't bring the bitch that you're cheating with around your family. You don't do shit like that. That right there shows that Betty don't give a fuck. That right there shows that Benny don't care. He don't care about Jay like that because he brought that girl around you. Family. She a side chick. You never let nobody meet the side piece. What the fuck? I don't get it. People are stupid. Anyway, you guys, leave your comments below. I'm going to go. Um, go give me something to drink. I don't know if this is making my mouth really dry or what. But my lips are drying out and my mouth is very dry. But I love y'all. Let me know what y'all think of my new teeth. Maybe I'll do a whole video about my teeth. Y'all let me know what y'all think, okay? But I gotta go. I love y'all.